and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of what's for dinner tonight we are going to have another light and easy offering tonight it's lemon skillet chicken this is all done in one pan except for the pot that you have to pre-boil the potatoes in other than that everything is sauteed and then popped in the oven in the same skillet just to cook everything off and get the potatoes nice and done on the bottom the, um, the lemons roast in with everything the mushrooms pull in all of the flavors that you put in the pan and this is going to be delicious it makes enough for four servings plus we're going to probably have another meal out of this frankly so let's go see how we make this we're going to get started by going over the ingredients and then we're just going to go right into it. What you're going to need to make uh, this what I am calling a lemon chicken skillet. This is a super light meal that is going to fill you up but nobody's going to miss any cream sauces or anything else. I have four chicken breasts. Now these are like really big pieces of meat and normally I would butterfly these and make two cutlets out of one piece of meat. Instead, I'm going to leave these whole today because we're going to be popping this in the oven and roasting it is going to make it absolutely perfect. So I have four chicken breasts and this amounts to about two, two and a half pounds, somewhere around there. And then I also have about two pounds of red potatoes. These are fairly small and that's how you want them. I cut these in half and I brought them to a boil in some cold water and I boiled them for 12 minutes. Then I drained them and I just have them hanging out. We're going to use these a little bit later. We're also going to need a pound of cremini mushrooms. I've been using mushrooms a lot lately. I love mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, you can leave them out of the recipe. No big deal. Anytime you see something in a recipe that you don't like like this, you can just leave it out. We're also going to use some thyme sprigs. I just have you know, a few sprigs of thyme. I may or may not use all of those. I have about a pound of asparagus, and I have trimmed the woody ends off. Two lemons that I have sliced. About a cup of parsley that is roughly chopped. Two tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm going to use my sedged chicken rub to season this up. You can use salt and pepper or whatever is your favorite. Basic seasoning for chicken. So, the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sprinkle and I have my very biggest iron skillet heating on the stove. You're going to need to do this in a skillet or a frying pan that can go in the oven. All right, so if you have one that has a plastic handle, you might want to check and see at the maximum temperature that it can be put in the oven. I'm just going to liberally sprinkle these with my chicken rub and then we'll meet you over at the stove. All right, our pan is hot. I put about a tablespoon of oil. We had two tablespoons in the in the little glass and I'm going to put my chicken breast season side down in here and then I'm going to season this side. This is totally optional. If you don't have this, just use the regular salt and pepper. This is a little truffle salt that I have, and um, it adds a lovely little flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little truffle salt on this side and the sedge on the other. We're going to cook these until they're seared on both sides, but not cooked all the way through. And then we'll be back to show you what happens next. All right, we have removed our chicken that's nicely seared from the pan, and now I'm just going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of chicken stock. Not a whole lot, just a little. I just want to get that fond up off the bottom. And I want to do that because I'm going to put the rest of our olive oil in here. Mix that in there, get it nice and hot. And then we're going to our potatoes, okay? Potatoes are going to go in Cut side down. Just put them in here. In the meantime, make sure you've preheated your oven to 375 degrees. There should be enough seasoning in the pan from the chicken that you shouldn't have to season the potatoes on the cut side. 
you can season them after they come out of the oven. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some thyme. I'm just going to strip some thyme and get it in here. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take my mushrooms, put them in here, just like this. These are gonna cook down and get in there with those potatoes and this is gonna be awesome. All right, next thing, I'm gonna take these lemons. I'm gonna put them around the side of the pan. All right, next thing, chicken returns from where it came. Just like that. Return of the chicken. Yes, return of the chicken. Now don't waste all this goodness here. Get that back in there. The only other thing we have left is this asparagus. And if you don't like asparagus, use green beans or whatever vegetable you prefer. This would be nice with some squash, whatever you prefer. It's all gonna work out. Now, the only other thing I'm gonna do is this is totally optional. I've got a little bit of truffle oil here. I'm just gonna drizzle that over the top. And then I'm going to pour about a half a cup of chicken stock in the pan. Excuse me. I have a little bit of olive oil left in my little shot glass here, so that goes in too. This is gonna go in your 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And then in it goes. And that's gonna roast for 30 minutes and we'll be back when it's time to take it out and serve dinner. Hey, this is ready to come out of the oven. Ow. Don't do that. And there you have it. Wow. I think that looks gorgeous. Yes, it does. So now I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes. You can see that the lemons kind of got nice and roasted. And you can let this go a little bit longer if you think you need to. So, you know, you just be the judge of that. Let me show you. I'll show you the bottom of the potatoes. Now, if I had not added the chicken stock, these would be crispy. So if you don't want them to be soft, if you'd rather have them crispy, then don't add the chicken stock. I like to mm -hmm. add the chicken stock because I was steaming my asparagus. So that's a personal preference. That's just how I did it. We're going to be back in just a moment because I'm going to fix you a plate of this delicious lemon skillet chicken okay there you have it a delicious plate of lemon skillet chicken um, the chicken is super succulent and moist the potatoes like I said if you want them super crispy on the bottom don't put that broth in the pan just go with the oil and let them fry a little bit on the bottom on um, the moisture is going to come out and then the mushrooms are going to be delicious um, an excellent side to go along with this. Like I said about the asparagus, it's perfectly cooked and it's cr tender crisp. It's not soggy, but like I said earlier, if you don't like asparagus, go ahead and throw some um, fresh green beans in here or even some frozen long green beans, not the cut ones. Carrots. You could put carrots in here if you wanted to, but I think a green vegetable is better. Yeah. So, um, we have all tasted this, and I think it's delicious. What do you think, honey? It's awesome. We're getting ready to have our supper. I hope that you try this, and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Uh, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!